Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate. One of the more robust segments of the property market has been the rental market of both private residential properties and HDB flats. In just the first six months of this year, we saw condo rents increase by about 12%. According to URA's Rental Index, last quarter we saw rents increase by 6.7% and this is up from 4.2% in the first quarter of this year. Similarly, in the HDB side, we saw rents increase by 7.2% last quarter and this is up from 4.8% in the first quarter of this year. And for the condo side, this is significant because it represents a 7 consecutive quarterly increase in rents. We can track all of this using EdgePop's Market Trends tools which tracks the average growth of rents between certain periods. For example, the second quarter of 2019 up till recently in the second quarter of 2022. And we can further break this down by CCR, OCR and RCR regions. I'll be speaking to Nicholas Mark, Head of Research and Consultancy at ERA Realty, Lee Tusek, Senior Director of Research at Hudson's Asia, to uncover the factors that is driving up the rental market in recent months, how landlords and renters have reacted to this buoyancy, and what this means for 2023. I think in 2022, HDB rents has gone up by uh, almost 20%. So that is actually on top of what we have seen in 2021. For example, a three-room improved flat in Amokyo recently was rented out for $4,500 per month. This is actually a record when It has been growing at between 1.5% to 1.6% each year. However, this changed quite dramatically last year, where the HDB rental rate grew by about 10.6% for the whole of 2021. By July this year, that rental rate actually grew to about 18% year on year. The delays in completion for BTO as well as the private homes have a part to play. The other is, of course, the economic recovery. So businesses are bringing in people from overseas here to work. So this coming together are spurring the demand in the HDB market. It's a combination of a few factors. The pandemic brought about supply chain disruption, which actually caused delay in the completion of HDB flats. And for every HDB flat that is sold to a new buyer, that flat cannot be rented out based on HDB rule for the next five years. So we see a reduction in the stock of HDB flats for rental. On the other hand, as the government decided that we are going to leave with the pandemic and gradually open up the border, there was an increase in the demand for housing rentals. What we see here is a reduction in supply and on the other hand, an increase in demand, which the results is a sharp increase in rental rates. They can't find homes to rent. Some are actually pretty expensive to them. So they are finding their friends to either share a room or share a unit with them. So this actually led to a dip in the rental application. The supply of HDB flats that are available for rent has fallen. In the second half of last year, an estimated 21,000 HDB flats were rented out by their owners. But in the first half of this year, roughly about 19,000 HDB flats was rented out and it was about a 10% dip. We see more supply from the HDB side as well as from the private side that is actually going to complete in 2023. Hopefully when that happens, then the tenants who are currently renting at the moment shift over to the BTO, shift over to the private, and then release these homes uh, for rent. In the last three years, there have been a gradual growth in the number of HDB flats that reached the end of their five-year NOP. And these numbers actually reached a peak uh, this year. However, going forward, this number of flats that are available uh, for rental is going to gradually decrease next year and also in 2024. And unfortunately, the numbers doesn't point to uh, immediate relief for HDB tenants. The economic recovery in 2021 uh, was totally unexpected what? and that actually carried on into 2022. Businesses need to hire more and they are bringing say, foreigners and that has actually increased the demand. Indeed it has 
because before the pandemic, private housing uh, rental rates actually has been growing at a fairly slow pace of about 1.4 to 1.8% uh, each year. And in 2021, rentals start to grow again. And it's beginning to accelerate, especially in the first six months of this year. By the second quarter of this year, rental rates was growing by about 16% year on year. And this is 10 times the rate of growth that was experienced before the pandemic. There are also other, uh, say, high net worth individuals coming in. We also have foreign students coming in and then adding on to the demand for homes in the market in 2022. It's not just foreigners, but also locals are renting both in the HDB and also private housing market. One of the reasons is because of the work from home practice. Some young people team up with their friends to rent either HDB flats or private apartments so that they can have more independence as well as more space. Another group of people who are renting are young families as well as those who are expecting to take possession of their new housing units actually have to go and rent temporarily. We are seeing a larger increase like 17% for five bedroom units compared to a small increase that we can see for the three and four bedrooms. That has displaced some tenants from the CCR over to the RCR and some tenants from RCR have been displaced to the OCR. When a tenant receives notice from their landlord that the rental rate is going to be increased, he has three choices. First, he can either bite the bullet and pay the higher rental or secondly, he can look for a smaller and possibly cheaper uh, unit. The third option is actually to move away, either in the city fringe or in the suburban areas. As a result, we actually see this decentralization of uh, rental demand to the suburban areas. The pace will ease in 2023 because we have more private homes being completed in 2023. Hopefully, this actually helps to ease the tax supply situation that we are seeing now. This year, we expect about 14 to 15,000 private housing units to be completed, and next year, that number will increase to 17,000. The owners will be able to take possession of this unit, and some of these units will be rented out. I don't expect a decline in the rental rates, partly because as the Singapore economy continue to expand, the labour market remains tight, and hence some companies will be hiring foreigners to fill the void. This will add on to that demand for private leasing units. So far, we've examined the market situation from a distance, but it's important to remember that these trends impact the housing affordability of locals and foreigners. I've been fortunate to meet up with Jaden Ong, who is renting a unit in the city fringe area, and I spoke to her about her perspective of the market situation and how it has impacted her. Does it concern you to hear that rental prices are likely to increase in the coming months? That's a big concern for me. However, I'm lucky enough not to worry about the next few months as my current lease is only up until 2024. Given the current trajectory, it's likely that I still have to pay uh, higher prices in the future. Renting now is increasingly common and more acceptable among millennials and you know, people of our generation. But this often comes at the cost of saving for financial goals in the long term. How would you gauge your current situation? Currently, I think about the amount that I'm spending on rental and how that compromises the amount of savings that I can accrue for my future flat, as I can still be able to enjoy a sense of freedom and enjoyment in my current uh, rental room. I think it's still okay and I will continue to rent for the next few years. Are you confident you could find something or afford something on the market? Given my current budget for a rental room, I might not be able to get something as central as where I currently live. Perhaps somewhere that is further out from central area would be suitable for me in the future. What are some of the challenges that you face when you are looking for your current place? The choice of housemates are very important as they are the people that you see every day and they actually help to create the energy of the house and also finding the right location at a suitable price. That was challenging because I wanted to stay near town while not spending too much on rental. As we heard from our first two interviewees, there could be a silver lining next year, but renters are likely to face a challenging next few months. And it'll still take some time for a new housing supply to enter the market. As we heard from Jaden, renters have to be more careful when planning their financial priorities and making their housing decisions in the future. That's it for this episode of Real Estate. Real opinions, real statements. <laughs>